What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Route 205. Uh, we got to trade a Pokemon on, you know, on screen. We traded our Ultra Cycle after it evolved into a Kadabra. Now it's an Alakazam, and now we're going to be going straight to the Eternal Forest because we kind of have to get through this whole area right here, yeah. Okay, so here is the Eterna Forest, and as you can see, there is somebody waiting right there waiting for us, and well, hello, hello, pretty lady with green hair. Hello, my name is Cheryl, and you are? Okay, so your name is Draven. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Draven, may I ask you for a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there are, there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there I think there'll be a safety in numbers. Please may I go through with you? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Now, this is taking um I, I can't remember, like I don't remember I don't remember Pokémon Diamond and Pearl uh all too well, but I do believe that it happens in every single version where you meet up with someone, you have to take them through a certain area and all that stuff, but in return they will heal your Pokémon right away. So this episode right here will be all double teams and whatnot. I think I will be using a lot of repels right here just to, uh, well, just to get by and all that crud. Because yeah, I do not want to like if you if you go through this area with a person, you will get attacked by two Pokemon instead of one. And uh, yeah, that 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 will serve as a problem right there. So there is that. Now let's see, we're just gonna be going through this whole area right here. There will be a lot of double battles too, so just keep your eyes off that. Now, if you guys see right there, there is a boulder with some green moss. Obviously, if you touch it and you evolve an Eevee, it will evolve into a Leafeon. So that's one spot where you can actually find it. Now, we can't go through there, obviously, making us go through the grass. And, um, well, we're going to be double battling everywhere. Okay, so a lot of our Pokemon are going are to be getting some experience points right here. Okay, so here we go, going up against Lass, Brianna, and uh, Bugcatcher Jack, and uh, well, they got a nice a combination of Pokemon. I do have Infernomon, while Cheryl has, uh, well, has her chan her chancy. Okay, so let's go with the first the first person right here. So let's go. Yes. Oh yeah, Flame Wheel for the win. There goes Wurmple, and well, more of our Pokemon getting experience points. Here comes a spark attack, and that is going to hurt Chansey just a little bit. Here comes the disarming voice, and bam, hurts it. Okay, so here comes another bug type Pokemon, and it is Beautifly. Now this is a step up, and we're going to be taking care of Beautifly right here. Pachirisu is going to hit our Infernomon. Well, guess what? Infernomon going straight for the kill. That's right. Flame Wheel for the win. Oh yes, yeah, so this Pokemon's gonna be uh, pretty legit when it when it's finally grown. And Hydra's grown to level 15 right here, so it's gonna learn Tackle Attack, I guess. And Electro Star learn is learning Spark. Now Spark is an extra electric type attack, as you can see. The user throws an electrically charged tackle at the uh, target. This may also leave a target with paralysis. Now I'm looking at this guy's stats, and its physical attack is just a little higher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take away Tackle because, well. You, it, it's actually, it would actually have, be nice to have a physical electric attack and a special electric attack for some occasions right here. And as you can see, Hydra has grown to uh, level 15 and has learned uh, Tackle. Now, here comes another disarming voice. Yeah. Not the strongest Pokemon. Now, here we have a Silcoon, so might as well destroy Pachirisu while we're at it. That way, you know, Chansey can go away and uh, get go and do something. Now, here comes a baby doll eyes, and it's going to hurt our Pokemon right here. It's going to lower our attack. So, yeah. <laughs> here we go. And, oh, crap baskets. Yeah. And now we got a double attack right here. And here comes a hardened sack. That is not going to be working real quick. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, again, evolve your Pokemon, homeboy. You have to. So there we go, a flame wheel attack, and that right there will take care of Pachirisu. Now that will leave us with one person, and look at that. Toxic Batman has grown to level 15 and is learning Poison Fangs. So there, finally, a move that we can actually use. So let's go ahead and take away Astonish. Don't really need it. And well, there we go. Poison Fan has been learned. Ultra Psycho is learning something. 
and here comes a sweet kiss, but it has missed. And oh my god, the dreaded Harden attack. Oh my god, okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a flame wheel just to finish this, uh, this guy off right here. Yes, we make a formidable team. When you have an actual Pokemon that can actually attack and stuff. So there we go. Another victory for us. More experience points for all of us right there. And... Well, look at that. They're not happy. They're not too happy right now. Now, after every battle, you guys should know that your Pokemon are healed, so you shouldn't worry about healing them or wasting any kind of it, of healing items right here. So, let's go right ahead and, well, battle some more Pokemon trainers. And I think these guys are psychics. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. Do I have... Uh... You know what? Let's continue. Let's continue on. Okay, so here we have when a trainer and a Pokemon bond as one, a wondrous power is born... I see it. I see it. I see you going down in defeat. Huh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle. And... Let's see. Well, we're going to be taking on uh, the Psychics, Elijah and Lindsay. And there we go. Okay, so let's go right ahead. And let's go physical on these Pokemon right here. Because they are very, very weak against uh, physical attacks, not psychic attacks and whatnot. And there we go. And well, here comes a, oh wow, okay, so I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, alrighty, so the disarming voice is gonna be uh, getting at it. And that right there will actually do something, but let's go with a flame wheel attack now because Type advantages, yeah. It, it takes a, it takes effect right here in this battle. So there we go. And Abra is down. And wonder who's next right here. Okay, so here comes another energy ball, and that hits Chansey. Nothing, nothing. You get nothing. And uh, well, there we go. Let's go right ahead and use another flame wheel. To take care of this guy. And there we go. Abra has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, so we're doing some pretty good stuff right here, and well, we have defeated this Psychic Elijah and uh, Lindsay, and uh, yeah, they, <laughs> they saw something, but they didn't see us winning. Okay, so let us move on right here. Now, this is going to be a little tough one. This is probably where we're going to need to repel, because yeah, I do not want to get attacked by Pokemon just yet. Let's we'll grab that. We found ourselves a Great Ball. Uh, let's see, we won't be able to get a Great Ball until like later, later on, so here we are with... You know what, let's go upstairs right here. And, uh, let's see, there's nothing right here. Okay, so, it looks like to us that we're going to be wasting that, that repel. So, here we go with two bug catchers. Kind of wish I had, like, a double hitting move. That way we can just get rid of these guys quickly, but... That won't be, in, that won't be until, like, later on. So, here we go, taking on Donald and Philip, And, uh, well, let's see how strong they are. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so they got some uh, they got some weak, 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 weak Pokemon. So let's go with Burmy first, and just like that, Burmy uses Protect just to be a dick like that, and that doesn't affect it. Holy crud! Okay, so let's go right ahead and oh god, oh my god. Okay, and well, let's see. Let's go right ahead. And do something about this. Okay, so we kind of have to, like, whatchamacallit, uh, <laughs> get rid of Burmy real quick right here. So here we go, Flame Wheel. And Flame Wheel does its trick. Burmy has fainted. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And, well, here comes a disarming voice. Don't know why that's gonna be, uh, yeah. <laughs> And, wow, this, this Wurmple right here is really just, like, getting at, it, at us. And look at that. Krikatoon is right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use another Flame Wheel for this whole situation. And, oh, crud. Oh, crud baskets. Okay, so here we go. Flame Wheel. Let's get it. And there you go. Okay, all righty. So there we go, we have defeated another Pokemon. Rosemon is grown to level 18. Hopefully that gets it closer to actually liking us. Oh, come on! And what is going to happen right here? Let's see, Dust Talks coming out. And, well, let's see, let's go right ahead and use another Flame Wheel. Let's go with the stronger Pokemon right here. 
And let's see. Let's go right ahead and well, the cricketudes confuse. There we go. All righty, all righty. So here we go. Another dust ox defeated, and there we go. And Infernal Long grows to level 21, which is great. All right. Okay. All righty. Okay. So here we go. And that is a uh, what you call it? Uh, a nice move. And wow, how many Pokemon do these guys have? Seriously. Oh my God. Okay. So let's get rid of this guy. Let's get rid of Cricketune. He's not a threat. So here we go. Flame Wheel does the trick. Cricketune has been defeated. And uh, well, let's see. Yes, more of our Pokemon are growing levels. Which is great, guys. It's, it's absolutely great because, you know what? We're inching closer to evolving some Pokemon to, strum, uh, to some strong Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, here comes a sweet kiss. And that will confuse a Pokemon that does not know how to attack. Seriously. And, yeah, here we go. Hard attack. Holy crap. Hard attack. Oh, my God. The dreaded hard attack. Let's go straight for a Flame Wheel right here. And... There we go, Flame Wheel for the win. Okay, alrighty, alrighty, okay, so that is that, and we have defeated these two bug catchers. Seriously, how many bugs, do you, like, you guys need to evolve all your bugs, seriously, to be stronger, or put up a challenge or something like that. Okay, so that is that with this person, and the Repel has worn off, and just, okay, so... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get attacked by Pokemon here and there. I, I don't care, but we're gonna just like transition to it. And here we found ourselves a potion, which is always good. And well, let's move on. Not getting attacked by a Pokemon right now. And well, let's see. Hmm. Not right there. Let's see what this says right here. Trainer tips. In forests and caves, there are so many items on the ground that you can't see, it can't be seen by darkness. Take the time to search carefully. Yeah. I if I had it if I had the what you call it the the item finder then that would be great but we don't okay so here we go we're taking on some uh, psychics again all right let's do this let's get it here we go with two psychics and look at look at the graphics how they're just controlling the pokeballs right there and they will be both coming out with both a Meditite and what was the other Pokemon again I didn't see that correctly uh, Meditite and Psyduck holy crud okay. Uh, I do not have an attack for this specific situation, so let's go straight for a flame mill onto Metatite. Hopefully, that will defeat this guy quickly. And almost does, and here comes a confusion attack. And, well, yeah, just like that, Infernape is going to be, or Infernomon is going to be the, the target of this whole situation right here. So, let's continue on. Chansey confusing the crud out of a already confused look Psyduck, and... Oh, crud. Okay, so here we go. Water poles. Crap baskets. Oh, yeah, we're getting targeted. I call steroids. Okay, so let's go with a flame wheel. Defeat Metatype. And, uh, you know, let everything ride out the way it should be. So there we go. Metatype has been defeated. And, well, there we go. Growing some levels. And here comes the disarming voice. And that one will hit Psyduck some. And it is still confused. Please stay confused, you jacket. Oh, crap baskets. Well, we had a good run, and just like that, Infernomon has been defeated, so now we have to switch out our Pokemon right here. Luckily, we do actually, hold on, let's go with Rosemon. I want to go with Rosemon. All right, Rosemon, let's do it. Absorb, avenge your fallen comrade. There we go. Yeah, buddy, not that, not that much of an, uh, of an attack, but still it's something now. I should probably teach my Pokemon Bullet Seed just to give it a little bit of a, like, you know, of, of a better attack than just absorb, you know. So here comes a water pulse attack to Chansey, and, well, let's go straight again with another absorb attack. And little by little, we are getting Psyduck to just go down, so here comes the disarming voice. And there we go. Water pulse again, trying to hit Chansey, but luckily for us, Chansey is a tank when it comes to HP. So let's go with the absorb attack, and there goes Psyduck. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. And well, we get some experience points. Ultra Psycho grows to level 19. And well, we 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 are doing some good stuff right now. We are doing some great stuff. Okay. All righty. So, let's see. 
Yeah, we don't have to worry about, you know... Okay, like I was saying, we don't have to worry about Inferno Mom because it's already, uh... Well, it's already uh, revived thanks to, uh, you know, Shell right here. So let's move on right here and... Well, we don't get attacked by a Pokemon. Now, the last Pokemon that we got attacked, there were two Wurmples, caught one of them. So that's another another Pokemon to the collection right there. And here we found ourselves another jar of honey. Now, you can buy the honey from the, the same man you saved from Team uh, Galactic, so you guys don't have to worry about that now. Is there something here? No. All right, so as you guys can see, you can't go through this area right here, but you always already know that there's a haunted house close by. You need to actually chop this thing up just to get through her, which, you know, we need cut. So let's just move on right here. And as you can see, Cheryl's very thankful, and she's like, oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I would never have been able to, uh, to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Draven. Okay. So there we are, guys. We are back, and, well, let's get the heck out of here. Let us get the heck out of here. And, well, let's see. It is Route 205, and we are going to be... Well, let's see. Hold on. Are there items? Yeah. We are outside of two, uh, Route 205, the extended 205. So now, as you can see, there's another part right here, too, where we need the cut technique. So it's kind of starting to, le to let me know that, yeah, we kind of need to... Uh, you know, we kind of need to step that thing up right there. Now... Before we do anything, let's go ahead and swap out to Rosemont because the, the, the goal is to evolve that Pokemon. And a lot of these guys won't battle you, not yet, but they battle you at certain times. So here we go, battling a uh, Fisher, and he is going to be coming out with a Goldeen now. There is, there is a bit of a, how should I put it? There is a bit of a, whatchamacallit, uh, a discrepancy with Goldeen. It might have Peck. So we gotta be uh, we gotta be aware of that little thing right there. And well, there's an absorb attack, does its thing, and here comes a water pulse. And that right there doesn't really do much. So let's go right ahead and use another absorb attack. And there we go. Uh, Goldane is just getting its butt kicked right now. And how does this? How does absorb only get two HP? How? I want to want to know. Oh my god, we're getting confused. We're getting confused. Holy crap. Okay, so let's go. Absorb. Come on. And damn it. Okay, so we're getting hurt. Yes, and uh... Oh wow, here comes the peck attack. The dreaded peck attack. So we... We, 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 we kind of need a... Yes, okay, so here comes the quick claw. Alrighty, come on. Come on. And here comes the absorb attack. Okay, and just like that, we have defeated... A pretty stingy Goldeen. Jeez, Nintendo, come on. You gotta let me win sometimes, you really do. Okay, so we have defeated Goldeen. And more leveling up. Rosemont grows to level 19. And just like that, we have defeated the Fisherman. And, well, let's see. Nothing. Yeah, I thought it was gonna evolve right there. And yes, we have another Fisherman who wants to battle. So, let's go right ahead and just take advantage of this. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and take on some easy magic carp right here. He's got six of those little mugs. Okay. Ugh, Rosemon. Okay. Let's go with the absorb, absorb attack. Okay. And just like that. Well, we, we, we suck away their full HP and wow. Okay, so I get it. I see what it is. I don't know what the... I don't know what the, the whole deal is with that. Okay, so we defeated one. We're getting a little bit of HP. Yeah, okay. Or experience points. Anywho, guys, um, what can I say? What can I say? So, so far, I'm having a little bit of fun with Brilliant Diamond. There's not a lot of changes that I've seen so far. I mean, I have yet to get to the legendary portions of, uh, of this game in Pokemon uh, Shining Pearl, but eventually, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. I mean, if if any of you guys have watched anybody else who's watched, like, you know, Orange, Munching Orange or, you know, uh, Hero Voxy or something like that, yeah. Like, if you guys have watched their walkthroughs and all that stuff, that's fine by me. You know, go ahead and watch theirs and, and, and check out these spoilers for, like, what could happen. But I'm actually liking what I'm seeing right here, the 3D, everything. Um... I believe there there is a there is a good chance that you can actually grow your Pokemon a little bit higher. Just I haven't got there yet, so 
We'll see what happens, guys. We shall see. And then, yes, we will probably you know, we'll probably have a little bit of a marathon come my anniversary day because we are we're we're, we're getting close to it. Uh, as of right now, I am recording this whole thing on December fifth. So, what that said, I think we have like what? Uh, yeah, we have two weeks, maybe not a week or two before we get into our eleventh year anniversary. So, yeah, we got some stuff that is cooking right here. So there we go. Another absorb attack. Yeah, Badu is uh, yeah taking advantage of this this whole palooza of magic cups and whatnot. So there we go. Okay, so yes, defeated another one. Please let us battle the other guys so I can get some experience points and evolve my Pokemon. And yes, okay. All right. Now I don't know how the friendship is between me and Badu, but we have to actually get its uh, get its uh, friendship up in the daytime. And right now, I'm just taking advantage of it. So here we are, taking on another Magikarp, level 10. So let's go ahead and absorb everything it's got. Alrighty, look at that. Okay, alright. And uh, there goes Magikarp. And, well, let's see. Goldeen is going to be a challenge, so let's go right ahead and take this guy on. Goldeen, I see what you're doing. Let's go with an absorb attack. And yes, our quick claw is going to come into effect. And here comes the Absorb Attack, taking half its HP. And, well, this guy's actually using a Peck Attack for once. And, yes, we are going to lose a little bit of HP there. So, here we go again, Absorb Attack. And there goes Goldeen. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Okay. All righty. And there goes the opposing Goldeen. And what do we get is a little bit more experience points. And here comes a Magikarp. Seriously, guy, you couldn't evolve him? I'm just saying. Or I don't think you can evolve him, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and, you know, get a little bit of HP. Yes, look, we're going back. And bam, just like that. Magikarp has been defeated. And, well, we have defeated Zachary. Okay. <laughs> He is not too happy with that right there. Okay, so there is an item right here that we can grab, and we found ourselves a potion, which is great. And, well, let's see. Anything else? Yeah, there are berries around here, and we're going to go right here just to grab them. Obviously, just staying away from the, uh, staying away from the grass. And, well, let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this and grab that. Two peck of berries have been caught. And, no, I do not want to plant anything. A lot of this stuff that I have right here, guys, I'm probably not going to be, uh, I'm not going to be planting or anything. Unless they have, like, they gave me a reason to, but I'm not going to, hold on, let me, okay, let's grab this last berry right here. And, uh, there you go, and, hold on. There we go, we found ourselves a, a jar of honey. Again, if you see open spaces like this, guys, more than likely there's going to be an item that, uh, waiting there for you. And would you look at that. We finally made it to Eterna City in all its glory. Alrighty, okay. So, what is going to happen is we're going to take a pause right here, guys. It has been a very, very fun adventure. A lot of stuff is going to be uh, it's going to be shown in this, uh, this here area. So, stay tuned. In the next episode, yes, we will be taking a nice tour of Eterna City. And quite possibly, maybe, maybe, just maybe taking on the gym leader. So, thank you guys again. I will see you guys next time.